Welcome you all for PPT's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about Voodoo and Shopee integration. Shopee is an e-commerce platform uh, mostly used in South Asian countries. Voodoo is an ERP web application. So uh, uh, Shopee is providing web, uh, web API services. Shopee, they have installed the Shopee module. By using the Shopee integration, we can able to create a number of uh, Shopee account. Both uh, all accounts can be uh, simultaneously. It can be work. So we uh, we can uh, we need to get few details from Shopee. So the first one is partner ID and shop ID, and as well as we need to get the access token. To get those details, we can see the Shopee doc doc document. Okay. We'll open the Shopee document. In the, I will provide the Shopee uh, the URL in the description. You can check over here. Let me explain what is what are the things we need to do in the uh, Shopee to get an API. So first, we need to create a sandbox account. So you can go to the link. You can register. Once the registration completed, you can able to update the profile details like it it's supposed to uh, have all uh, original details with the shopee uh, shopee seller account so you can give the shopee seller account in the once the uh, account is created and after login you can able to enter your app list app list is nothing but uh, the uh, shopee details whatever details we have in the uh, shopee uh, partner platform those details we need to uh, enter over here once you entered it will be verified by the Shopee team. If it is on a valid data, they will be approving. Based on the approval, we can able to create the app. So you can check the status over here. So once the Shopee, uh, Shopee approved your application, we can able to integrate the details. From Shopee, we need to get a few details like partner ID and shop ID as well as access token. Access token is a unique uh, value. It need to be generated from the Shopee. Based on that, we can able to sync the Voodoo and Shopee integration. For Shopee, uh, we can create a number of Shopee account. So all the Shopee account can be uh, simultaneously integrated with the Voodoo system. So you can create a number of uh, Shopee account over here. Each account will have the partner ID and uh, shop ID as well as secret token. So the secret token uh, and uh, partner ID, shop ID based on that, we can able to get the shop ID details. To get the uh, to get these uh, credentials, we need to log in in the shop uh, shop developer account and we need to create a app. So here we can see how we can able to create a Shopee account and uh, how to get the credentials. First, we need to register as a developer. So you can able to give your email address to get a sign up. Based on that, you can able to get the Shopee account. Once the Shopee account is created, we need to create an app. app. So the app which will contain the Shopee uh, seller account details. So seller account is nothing but the credentials given by the Shopee to access our uh, seller uh, platform. So we need to give the information regarding the uh, shell, seller account. It contains the company name and register name, uh, name and uh, area, something like that. So we need to give all the detail, all the details in a photo Shopee platform. Once the app details we have given, it will be waiting for the Shopee team approval based on the Shopee team approval only we can able to get the Shopee credentials until that we cannot able to get the uh, credentials because since it is an sensitive data it has contains all the details it need to approve by the Lazada team once the approved uh, once the data has been approved we can able to create the uh, integrate with the Shopee uh, uh, in, uh, Shopee integration with the Odoo so here we need to, uh, it is a form, so we can able to create the API URL, partner ID, shop ID, and the secret code. So based on the secret code and the, uh, everything, this will be synced with the Odoo, uh, it, with the, it will sync with the Odoo. 
uh, now we can see in Udo it will have a it has a three process one is uh, product sync product sync is nothing but all the pro shopping products will be integrated with the Udo and the sale order sale order and the transaction whatever sale order they have created those amount will be those records will be created in Udo also and also transaction transaction is nothing but the escrow escrow amount whatever amount we are receiving from the shopping uh, shopee uh, platform and uh, the amounts will be synced with the uh, Udo. Apart, uh, apart from the manual process we have created automatic run job also so it will run every each and every 50 minutes so it, all the process will be automatically will be get uh, updated in a Udo system we will see how the system is integrated it will be automatically updated also you can manually update so you have to update the uh, uh, product you can able to click the product things here we have added one field to get the uh, date so based on this date whatever data updated after this date in uh, shopee it will be uh, sync up because we no need to get the, all the details of previous records so we will be we have given this option we will check how it is integrated. We will uh, have cited data as October 1. So it is uh, uh, running in the background. It will take some time so we can wait for some time. Once the, once the product is updated, we can see the products are updated in the Odoo. Uh, it also has a multiple variants for uh, this also we have provided you need to get option with the variant or with variant or without or each uh, variant will be considered as a product template if it is not un uh, if it is uh, unchecked then here all the variants will be created as a separate product so based on the checkboxes it will be getting updated okay so once the say, products is updated now we can able to see the sale order sync so sale order sync again it is uh, based on the date so to reduce the time i am not uh, getting all the previous data instead of that i will be getting only few records for a uh, before one week records only we are i am getting so we will see how you can here select the manual date if we need to get uh, all the previous records you can able to change the data based on that it will be it will be working let's see how it is integrated okay it also will take some time so we can wait once the sopi is completed uh, the sopi orders will be synced with them uh, the sopi order here you can see the group by and status so based on the status the flow will be working if it is in a completed state it will create the delivery order and as well as the invoices since it is the uh, having in the ready to ship uh, data since uh, it will be created only delivery order not created an invoice once it moved to the completed state it will be having the uh, invoices so these are the order lines so we'll be having product lines and as well as and shopping fees whatever fees we are receiving from the shopping those details will be added over here so here the total amount will be matched with the escrow amount so you can see the escrow amount 196 so the order lines also 196 also we will be receiving the payment for 196 so it will be reconciled since we have doesn't have any orders with a complete state we are able to create the invoices and the transaction but that functionality also completed by using the transaction sync we can able to create the customer payments so this is how the Odo and shopee integration is completed also here we have provided some other options like stock update and it will if you check this update whatever uh, so stock updates and has been happening in Odo, it will be updated with the shopee okay and that's it from the Shopee and Google integration. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, please comment to repeat uh, comment to us so that we will be you know, replying to you. And if needed any demo call, we can able to schedule it. Thank you.